Well, good morning, and thank you for joining me for our time of morning prayer as we begin our new week. We're going to begin our time together this morning with another piece of Teze, Holy Spirit, come to us. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shuns of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoiced. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses in the Negev. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. 
Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading today is taken from the first book of Samuel, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. When the Philistines captured the Ark of God, they brought it from Ebenezer to Ashdod. Then the Philistines took the Ark of God, and they brought it into the house of Dagon, and placed it beside Dagon. When the people of Ashdod rose early the next day, there was Dagon fallen on his face before the ark of the Lord. So they took Dagon and put him back in his place. But when they rose early on the next morning, Dagon had fallen on his face to the ground before the ark of the Lord, and the head of Dagon and both his hands were lying cut off upon the threshold. Only the trunk of Dagon was left to him. This is why the priests of Dagon and all who enter the house of Dagon do not step on the threshold of Dagon in Ashdod to this day. The hand of the Lord was heavy upon the people of Ashdod, and he terrified and struck them with tumours both in Ashdod and in its territory. And when the inhabitants of Ashdod saw how things were, they said, The ark of the God of Israel must not remain with us, for his hand is heavy upon us and our God Dagon. So they sent and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines and said, What shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? The inhabitants of Gath replied, Let the ark of God be moved on to us. So they moved the ark of God to Gath. But after they had brought it to Gath, the hand of the Lord was against the city, causing a very great panic. He struck the inhabitants of the city, both young and old, so that tumours broke out on them. So they sent the ark of the God of Israel to Ekron. But when the ark of God came to Ekron, the people of Ekron cried out, Why have they brought across to us the ark of the God of Israel to kill us and our people? They sent therefore and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines and said, Send away the ark of the God of Israel and let it return to its own place, that it may not kill us and our people. For there was a deathly panic throughout the whole city. The hand of God was very heavy there. Those who did not die were stricken with tumours, and the cry of the city went up to heaven. Today's canticle is called A Song of Deliverance. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously, let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our second reading is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 20, beginning at verse 41. Then he said to them, how can they say that the Messiah is David's son? For David himself says in the book of Psalms, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. David thus calls him Lord, so how can he be his son? In the hearing of all the people, he said to his disciples, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes, and love to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces, and to have the best seats in the synagogues and places of honour at banquets. They devour widows' houses and, for the sake of appearance, say long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. He looked up and saw rich people putting their gifts into the treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins. He said, truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them. 
for all of them have contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty has put in all she had to live on. We say together the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So let us pray. Father, we thank you that you have given us the ability to call you Abba, Abba Father. We thank you that we can come into your presence knowing that you hear us and that you desire to meet with us. Lord, please come and fill us afresh with your spirit, that as we draw near to you, you would, as your word assures us, draw near to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, this day for your church here in Sandersted and Riddlestown. We give you thanks, Lord, for the Diocese of Southwark, for our bishops, Christopher and Jonathan. And we pray, Lord, for all those who are on our minds at this time. Remembering those in our own community and family who are sick. Lord, send your gift of healing upon all those that we have named both in our hearts and out loud. We pray especially this day for Kim Brown and for Alison Brewster. We pray for those who need a touch of your spirit, for those who are troubled, for those who are alone, those who are broken and afraid. We pray for those who are experiencing financial difficulty and pressure due to the COVID virus. As Teresa of Avila once said, Lord, we are your hands, your heart. Father, please use us and equip us in your service. Help us to see with your eyes and to love with your heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the families and loved ones of those who have died. And this day, Lord, we pray especially for Nora Lee, who lost her brother Len yesterday. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you 
such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love toward you, that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.